Andrew Berry admitted that as we sit here, February, uh, getting ready to go into March, the roster needs some work, without question, needs a lot of work. Um, Andrew Berry talked about the approach to free agency as well as the draft, the two main areas where you can improve the roster. And really, the draft uh, starts getting serious, as does free agency here at the Combine. Here's Andrew Berry on improving through the draft as well as free agency. Obviously, the past uh, few weeks, we spent a lot of time just looking at everything, soup to nuts, uh, organizationally, um, you know, coaching staff, roster, everything across football operations uh, to make sure that we can um, you know, make the necessary improvements to, to really be where we want to be in the 2023 season. Um, we always get really excited about the combine because it's really our first look uh, with the upcoming draft class. We spent probably upwards of the last 10 or 11 months um, you know, researching these players, scouting these players, uh, and it really gives us our first, uh, you know, interpersonal touch point where we get to spend a little bit more time with them, a little bit more extended time with them here in Indianapolis. So that's always very exciting for us, uh, and it really kicks off uh, the 2023 offseason for us. So uh, we enter the year with a really energized and with a ton of enthusiasm and looking forward to improving the team and the roster. So I don't think anything really changes in the draft and free agency process in terms of the preparation. Um, I've said this a number of times that uh, we really go into each offseason as if we have an expansion roster. Um, we really go through it like kind of like need agnostic. Um, how that influences decision making because um, the reality of it is when you do have an expensive quarterback, you do have a different set of constraints in terms of roster building. Um, you know, that may change. That may change from year to year. But how we go through the approach and how we go through the preparation, um, you know, that, that really doesn't. I'm sorry, do you mind repeating that one more time? Is that a benefit then to kind of have him kind of set number for the next couple of years, kind of know what he's going to get at cap wise every year? I don't know that it's necessarily a, a benefit because even that can change based on uh, your yearly strategy. You know, that's, that's, that's not to suggest that um, that's not a contract that could get, you know, touched at some point um, in the next several years. So, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say that, that that in and of itself drives anything. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Tony. To be determined, quite honestly, Tony. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of work to do on the roster. We're sitting here in, say, February or say, first day of March. Okay, February. last day of February. Um, there's a lot uh, that needs to be done until we get to, to August and we're competing for roster spots. It could be on the table, but there's a lot of flexibility in terms of what we can do from a cap perspective.